Welcome back to the Spirit Guide Daily. Daily draws from tarot and oracle cards about the collective's energy. Remember, these readings are timeless and they will reach you when they are meant to. We're starting out with the tarot at the end of the rainbow. We're getting three cards from that to tell us what's the energy today. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. If you hit the thumbs up button, that is helpful as well. If you want to book me for a private reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. And please don't forget to check out my upcoming podcast, which will also be linked in the description box down below. All right. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Strength card in the upright. And then we have the Judgment card in reverse. Now, in the Judgment card, this is the Archangel Gabriel's card. It is the card of purpose being revealed, darkness being turned to light, answers where there was only confusion. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's about overcoming a tendency towards anxiety. It's like you've mastered this peaceful energy. Remember, peace and patience are the cures for anxiety. And learning to inhabit a peaceful and a patient energy, every time you feel that anxiety of when, 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 or what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? You just breathe in, you breathe out, you say, I'm gonna choose to be peaceful. Everything is coming to me when it is meant to. For some people, like it's about time to get a pet. And I know that one came a little bit out of nowhere, but the strength card in the upright is frequently about things uh, with uh, getting an emotional support an animal would be one of the things that this indicates. For some people in a collective, there will be many different readings for the cards. Um, it looks like it would help with anxiety if that is something that you are considering. Remember in most states you need a, uh, in the United States, you need a letter from a licensed therapist within the state that you reside in order to actually have an animal qualified as a emotional support animal. Um, here's the thing, for the most part, what I've got is that like you've learned the methods to overcome and muscle through any tendency towards anxiety. Field of dreams, I do not read oracle cards in reverse. The field of dreams is everything coming to be, like your flowers and your garden are bursting forth. There's this beautiful abundant energy with that. Now the judgment card, the card of the Archangel Gabriel, is a karmic card. It is a card of a crossroads energy where you choose the higher road rather than the lower road, meaning you choose your highest self. It's also the cards of epiphanies and truth. Um, honest to goodness, it's like there might be something that tweaks out your anxiety early in the day, but please pay attention at the end of the day with how brief that was. Like it's a spark rather than an inferno and you see the spark and you employ the methods that you've learned. Fuchsia, two feelings. Um, within you is all you need to know. Interesting, true feelings. Within you is all you need to know. That's the truth energy from the Archangel Gabriel's card, the judgment card. Clarity and truth and strength and the ability to overcome any lesser impulses. Like I said, it's almost like it's second nature to you now. There is this really kind of fulfilled energy around this. Work's going very well at the time that you get this. You have a tendency towards overwork and trying to push on through to daylight. Please do not do that. It has actually slowed your path in the past is that you have trouble with regulating the amount that you will work. When things start to get going, like it really looks like maybe you push yourself to the point of energetic depletion, causing anxiety, potentially some depressive energies as well. Here's the thing, I've just got you being so aware of everything. Like you're, as something bubbles up, you're able to recognize what it is and act upon it in a way that overcomes it because this is a card of overcoming with compassion. It's almost as if you've developed enough self-compassion to kind of put this insecure, this anxious energy immediately to bed, to be able to recognize the red flags within yourself. The whole idea behind it, because one of the things that really helps every form of relationship we have is conquering emotional regulation and that responding, not reacting energy. You have gotten into the very responsive energy. And when you feel that like spark of the negative reaction, Honest to goodness, it's like you know, oh, I've, oh, I have an uptick in anxiety. I better go watch one of those grounding videos. Um, by the way, one of the best sources of grounding, it's going to sound really silly, look for campfire by a river videos because that contains all four elements. It's almost immediately balancing, and it's one of the things that will help you tap into the guardians of the four corners, which are the four archangels that guard the elements of our reality, Gabriel being the element of air. 
Earth sign energy is present with that pentacle in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles, I'm actually very, very fond of the Queen of Pentacles, even though I never represent as the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is, uh, uh, I'm, I'm an earth sign, but I never ever am represented by earth sign energy. I have a tendency to be represented by fire sign energy. Well, I've never been entirely sure why. Um, but I like the Queen of Pentacles because she's able to do it all. But the problem with being the Queen of Pentacles is sometimes she puts a little bit too much strength, uh, pressure on herself to do it all. And it's not a gendered term. It's just the energy is from the feminine divine. It's that nurturing, that caretaking energy. Um, I've just got you recognizing your own red flags and employing a method that helps you to feel better. You feel very successful and very powerful and very healed. <laughs> and that's what I think the field of dreams energy is about. It's like you recognize yourself in the mirror again after feeling lost for quite some time. All right, so that was your message for today. Please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel. And if you want to book me for a reading, there is a link to my website in the description box down below. And again, I have an upcoming podcast that will be linked in the description box down below as well. Please don't forget to check that out. Take care. Be well.